Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you my five favorite features of Canva. These are features that I use almost every day of my working life. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my Canva account. And the feature I use more than any other feature in Canva is the ability to duplicate any of my previous designs and then modify them. So let's take this one here, for example, and I'm going to make a copy of it. And so I now have this copy right up here. And let's go in and edit this design. Let's say I've decided that I like this font style, but I want to put in a different graphic here, for example. And I want to change out the title here and call this my five favorite Canva features. And let's highlight that and make it a bit bigger. Now, I can modify this completely. Let's say I want to take out my picture here and I want to put in a different picture. And in, in doing so, I'm going to show you one of my other favorite features of Canva. And that is right here in my uploads. You can see here, I've uploaded a few pictures of myself, like this one here, and I want to use it in this design, but I don't want the background. So with the image highlighted, I just clicked on it once, we're going to use the edit image function, and we're going to remove the background from that picture. And when it's done, the background will be gone, and there's me. Looks like I just have that brown background behind me. Now let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And let's go back over here and click the Apply button. And now I want to use this Face Retouch, which is another one of my favorite features. Face Retouch allows you to, let's say, whiten your teeth. I drink a lot of coffee and my teeth have actually been stained since birth. So I'm going to whiten my teeth and now I can increase that whiteness there. I can smooth out my skin a little bit. At my age, I'm starting to get more and more crow's feet and I can try to smooth it out a little bit by using that option as well. And if for some reason I have red eye in my photograph, I can use the red eye reduction tool right there as well. So let's apply those settings. Now, another one of my favorite aspects of Canva is found when I go to change the background color. You can see here that Canva is going to suggest some colors based on the colors that are found in the photograph. And if I had other elements in here, right, let's say I want to have a picture of just say a slide. So let's put in a slide here. When I go to change the background, right, I'll see that there's now that document color in there and I can match up that color if I want, or I can use any of these other colors. And let's click and drag and make that a bit bigger. And let's move that over here and this one over here. And while I'm doing that, let's go ahead and flip that horizontally. There we go. Now I'm leaning in the other direction. And I can do the same thing with that slide. Let's say I want to have that slide. Let's go ahead and flip that slide around back and forth that way. And let's move those pieces around just like that. So those are my first three favorite Canva features that I use on a nearly daily basis. Now I wanna look at another one of my favorite Canva features and that deals with slides. And I have a set of slides right here. In fact, I'm using these in a webinar a little bit later today, uh, Wednesday, March 9th. And you can see here, I've got my slides already designed. And 
over here on the right hand side, I have my present button, but we have a bunch of other options too. If I go over to my share, one of those things is that I can present and record. So when I do that, this is gonna take me into the recording studio where I can then record myself narrating my slides. Now, in this case here, I did not allow my webcam to access Canva because I was already using it for my Screencast-O-Matic recording tool. And so this is just going to capture my audio for the slides. And so I'm basically just narrating my slides now. And you can see, as I go through my slides, it just keeps on recording until I end the recording. And you can see there, now I have that recording and I can copy that link and give this link to anybody to view my slides and play back that audio recording at the same time. Anyone who has this link can now view my slides with my narration that goes along with them. So that's a really great way to create some narration or a little video presentation of a set of slides. And the last thing I wanna point out here, this is my fifth favorite feature and one that I use whenever I'm sharing slides or any other graphic. And that's over here on the right-hand side for the share button. You can share a view a view only link. You can also share your slides as a simple standalone website, just like I did with the recording version. You can just copy that link, give it to anybody you want, and they won't be able to download your slides. They'll just be able to view your slides. So those are my five favorite features of Canva that I use on a nearly daily basis. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find dozens of more Canva